Hi students, this is Asma Mishtaq from the W Vibes and in this lecture I will explain the operations of the counters or how we can design the counters. Uh, we know that in the digital circuitry we can design the counters and counters have many applications. They can count the number of the people entering in a particular room or the number of the people exiting from the room. Similarly, we can count any number of the events happening in the surrounding using the counter. So counters have the large variety of the applications in the digital electronics or the circuits. Fine. Uh, there are two types of the counters you can design. The first one is the synchronous or the asynchronous counters. Right now I will be discussing about the asynchronous counters and uh, you can see here I have designed the counter or asynchronous counter using the T flip flop. This counter will actually count up to 7. So starting from 0 to 7 it will be counting the number of the pulses that are being fed at the clock input fine i have used or designed this counter using the three flip flops why because the toggle feature is naturally suited for the implementation of the counting operations here you can see a three bit counter is capable of counting from zero to seven okay and if you look at the design, you can see the all inputs of this T flip flop are connected to the logic level 1. Right here you can see this, this and this, they all are connected to the logic level or logic value is equal to 1. While only the first counter is being driven by the clock input signal and rest of the counters clock signal are getting the input from the Q complement of the previous state. So right here you can see the input is actually of the clock is being fed from the previous stage of the complemented input which means that these counters will take the complement of the previous stage whenever the signal will switch its value from 1 to 0 while here you can see it's a positive as trigger flip-flop the output of these flip-flops are marked as q0 q1 and q2 fine if we want to count the events from 0 to 15 we will need four counters or four sorry four uh, t flip-flops in this cascaded format and we can design them for up counting or down counting operation why they are called the asynchronous counters because they the clock signal is not common to each flip-flop only first flip-flop is connected to the clock signal i hope you got the idea why we are calling them the asynchronous counters for making them the synchronous counters we can trigger them or we can drive them by the single clock signal then they will be considered as the synchronous counters okay so here i have drawn the clock signal and let's mark for the rising edge of the clock since the first flip flop will be triggered or complement its value whenever the clock signal will switch its value from 0 to 1 so suppose that initially all flip-flops are in the reset state that's why their value is 0 we know that the operation of the T flip-flop is whenever the one input is present it will complement to its previous stage at each, rise, at each rising edge of the clock so if the initial input was equal to z sorry initial output was equal to zero when the rising edge of this clock signal will arrive it will complement its output and will retain it as long as the next rising edge arrives when the next rising edge arrives it will complement its value and hence it will work like that 
as mentioned the other two flip flops have their clock inputs driven by the q bar output of the preceding flip flops therefore they toggle their state whenever the preceding flip flop changes its state from q is equal to 1 to q is equal to 0 which results in a positive edge of the q bar signal okay so here you can see the q bar of this will be actually opposite of this q naught fine so if i do draw the q naught bar it would be like that all right it means opposite of q naught now in order to understand the operation of the rest of these flip flops we can either say q1 will toggle its value whenever q0 is switching its value from 1 to 0 because when we say that it is switching its value from 1 to 0 uh, it's understood that q0 bar is actually switching from 0 to 1 fine so it's up to you either you drive the draw the output waveforms with respect to q0 or q0 bar just to keep the waveform simpler i'll consider the changes whenever q0 will be switching from 1 to 0 or at the falling edge of the clock signal all right initially the output was equal to 0 and it will remain as it is or as long as the falling edge of the q0 arrives or the rising edge of the q0 bar arrives they both are the similar statements when this rising edge arrives of q0 or the falling edge of q0 arrives it will toggle its value okay so let's just keep them toggling fine in this way you can see the output q1 of the second toggle flip-flop is drived or drawn now the third flip-flop is being driven by the complemented output of the previous flip-flop and this will interpret the same meaning or we can say that this flip-flop will toggle its value whenever the falling edge of the q1 arrives by the falling edge of the q1 arrives means the rising edge of q1 bar arrives so here is the falling edge it's the other falling edge okay this output will remain as it is as long as the falling edge arrives and then it will switch its value equal to 1 and it will go like that okay hence you can see how the output waveforms of a simple counter or a 3 bit counter has been drawn if you mark their values as 0 0 0 they will correspond to 0 then it's equal to 1 then it's equal to 0 and it's also equal to 0 so 0 0 1 means 0 0 and then 1 it's equal to 1 then 0 1 0 which corresponds to 2 then 0 0 1 which means sorry 0 1 it's 0 it's 0 fine it's equal to 0 1 0 then 0 1 and what we have right here it's 1 it's equal to 3 then 1 then 0 0 which correspond to what 1 0 0 it's equal to 
sorry one zero zero which is equal to four and so on we can actually see that how it's performing the up counting operation you can clearly notice how the waveforms are actually counting the pulses of this clock signal thus generating the value ranging from 0 to 7 and this counter is automatically set it to value 0 with the next after completing its count so it rolls off to its initial value and again starts counting the event it's the up counter we have observed so far now if you want to design the down counter and or three bit down counter the little changes you need to make in this circuitry is to drive the input of each flip-flop by this output Q rather than driving it by Q complement. So if you want to design the down counter, you will drive the next stage or the next stage or next stage flow flip flops clock by the output Q rather than by Q complement. This is the one change. Okay. And the rest of the circuit remains as it is fine so this is the only possible change that you need to make for designing the three bit down counter which will start counting from seven to zero thank you for watching if you have any question just drop the question uh, your question in the comment section